Hello, everybody. This is Catholic Dad, uh, episode number 95, uh, the Jesus Prayer. You know, um, there comes a time in everybody's day uh, where they, they're they approached with evil or um, adversity, somebody swearing, you know, using the Lord's name in vain, somebody saying nefarious things, uh, and uh, essentially exposing you to the evils of the world. And um, you can't really avoid those things. If you're going to go into the world, you're going to approach it, you're going to take the world on and try to make the world a better place. And also, um, if you're going to try to provide for your family. And uh, there's something called the Jesus Prayer that the Orthodox say, uh, you know, in Eastern Europe. And um, it's something they say when they come into adversity throughout their day. And um, it goes something like this. If, if they are, have hardship or trials or they hear something they don't like uh, that, that's evil, they say, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. Um, uh, that's one way to say it. You know, another way to say it is, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. It's another way to say it. You know, they have all sorts of ways of saying it. And if it needs to be very quick and to the point, and they could just say it under their breath, they just say, my Jesus, me, my Jesus, me, like that. Um, and th this is a Jesus prayer. Whenever, uh, you know, if you ever run into uh, troubles throughout your day, it, um, or evil, essentially bring up the Lord's name in a good way, in a prayerful way. And uh, it helps you combat it. It helps you put your shoulders back and say no. Uh, it helps you tell the devil to go where he belongs, and that's in hell. Uh, so just get out of my face. You know, don't, don't, don't say this to me. But you say it in a, in a beautiful way, and you invoke the Lord's name uh, in, in, a prayer, or in a prayerful way. And um, just my Jesus, me. That's all you have to say. Or uh, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have me on, uh, mercy on me, a sinner. And, uh, you know, when I used to run marathons, <clears throat> you know, they're not easy. And right about mile 20, 22, you start thinking that you're, um, you're not going to make it. And um, I used to start saying the Jesus Prayer, and I just, you know, kind of repeat it quietly. I wouldn't babble it, but I would, um, you know, I would say it uh, in prayerful thought. And, uh, and, like, imagine myself on the way to Calvary, uh, carrying the cross to Calvary. And um, that used to help me get through the pain and the suffering of uh, running the last, you know, six, plus, six miles or four miles or whatever it is when my body started to give out and my mind I had to take over with my heart and my mind and my legs were no longer wanting to do it. And so, um, you know, the, uh, well, anyway, so that's the Jesus prayer that the Orthodox say it. Um, and I think it's, uh, you know, if we, if we want to form a, a more Christian society, if we want to, like, um, um, like, start putting, becoming Christ-centered again in terms of our societies, we as people, whenever we see a difficulty, hardship, or things that are evil, we probably should think about the Lord. And if we could do that, if we could do that and habituate that, uh, then we can make ourselves more Christ-centered and be, be thankful for what he uh, did for us and he gave his life uh, to open the gates of heaven. And so this is Catholic Dad, my Jesus, me. Um, have a great night. Pray the daily rosary. Um, and uh, you try to get the Mass and try to get the confession. And God bless you all. Thank you.